Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Avinash Nankani and I'm second year medical student and in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to study for respiratory module. So, uh, before starting the guide for this module, I'll divide the subjects of respiratory module into two parts and majors and minors. So the major subjects of this uh, module are patho, anatomy and physiology and the minors are biochemistry and pharmacology and microbiology we have we do have like microbiology in this module so yeah starting with histo like i always say start your module with histo because histo is like the basic of that module so uh start with the histo and i'll recommend lycosin for that and from lycosin we have chapter number 17 respiratory system so do histo first and once you are done with the histo there's an important major of respiratory module and that is anatomy so do go through the thorax section of book whatever book you are following for suppose if you are following grace go through the uh, thorax part of grace if you are following klm go through the thorax part of klm so decide one book like i said in my locom uh, locomotor module guide that decide one book from locomotor module what book you are following either grace or klm I could never understand from KLM so I always use Grays but one thing to keep in mind and that is ke, if you are using Grays, Grays do not have sufficient clinicals. Clinicals ke liye you have to use BRS if you are using Grays but if you are using KLM, KLM my clinicals are pretty well explained and I will never recommend like my, even my friends don't use uh, BRS for clinicals if they are using KLM. So, if you are using KLM, do not go through the BRS. And I'll recommend Grays because I always do from Grays. So once you are done with the thorax section of Grays, you do not have to do middle mediastinum. Middle mediastinum is for the cardiovascular system. So except middle mediastinum, you have to do whole thorax. And once you are done with the thorax, you have to do the clinicals from the BRS and clinicals are very much important for your exam for module exam or whatever exams you are appearing in for respiratory module Once you are done with the anatomy. So one more thing and that is whenever you are doing anatomy uh, Go through the atlas like keep atlas open beside you Take you can see the 3d structures and models properly and you can like remember the labeling Because in the books but in grays like diagrams are like sufficient but in klm there are very less diagrams so do go through the uh, uh, netters atlas but if you are not like a person who is bookish or who wants 3d structures in front of him so you can just go through the research uh, games like there are some 3d structures website games mind games so you can just go through uh, those website and search that particular uh, for suppose you are studying a particular bone so you can just go through them for example you are studying first rib so you can go through the rib and yet you can label the rib there on that 3d structure so yeah once you are done with histo and gross anatomy try to cover embryology embryology is important for this module too and there are again two options in embryology either langman or klm i'll always recommend langman or even if you do not have time so it's not that uh, major subject so you can just go through the shergil's uh, embryology but if you have time i'll definitely recommend to go with the Langman or Kalem, whatever you are following. I'll mention the chapters from Langman. From Langman, we have chapter number 7, chapter number 10, except the skull part, and chapter number 14. And from Kalem, we have chapter number 8 and chapter number 10 complete for the respiratory module. And in this, in this, like all the chapters, there's like axial development of axial skeleton, development of body cavity, development of diaphragm, development of respiratory system. So once you are done with the embryo, start with the physio and in physio there are like four important things and those are capacities, volumes and graphs of guyton and ABGs. ABGs are arterial blood gases and those are very much important for this module. So what I'll recommend is Costanzo again. Costanzo is a book that is highly underrated over the guyton 
बट इफ़ यू आर यूजिंग गाइडन दैट्स रियली अ ग्रेट बुक लेकिन गाइडन में लंबी होती है जो कि मुझे नहीं पसंद एंड आई यूज कोस्टानजो कोस्टानजो रफी रिफर्ड मी इन द फर्स्ट ईयर बट लाइक आई हैड अ पी डी एफ एंड नाउ आई हैव गॉट द हार्ड कॉपी ऑफ कोस्टानजो सो दिस इज़ द कोस्टानजो फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हु डू नॉट नो अब कोस्टानजो दिस इज़ कोस्टानजो फिजियोलॉजी एंड दिस इज़ लाइक नॉट अ शॉर्ट बुक दिस इज़ डेफिनेटली अ ग्रेट बुक एंड हाईली रेटेड ए प्लस ग्रेट ग्रेडेड इन फर्स्ट एड सो या गो थ्रू द कोस्टानजो एंड इन कोस्टानजो और लाइक इन गाइट एंड दर इज़ अ होल यूनिट ऑफ रेस्पायरेटरी ट्रैक्ट सो यू कैन जस्ट गो थ्रू द रेस्पायरेटरी ट्रैक्ट एंड अगेन फॉर दिस मॉड्यूल पावर लेब्स आर वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट सो डू गो थ्रू द पावर लेब्स और वॉट एवर पावर लेब्स आर टॉट टू यू इन द लेब्स इट्स लाइक स्पायरोमेट्री प्रोबेबली सो जस्ट गो थ्रू दैम एंड ग्राफ्स ऑफ गाइटन इफ यू आर डूइंग कोस्टान्स और डू गो थ्रू द ग्राफ्स ऑफ गाइटन दोज आर लाइक रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट वंस यू आर डन विद द फिजियो स्टार्ट डूइंग पैथो एंड पैथो में दिज वन इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड दैट इज एक्सरे इमेजिंग एक्सरे इमेज ऑफ ऑल द डिजीज डू लाइक रिमेंबर दोज डिजीज बिकॉज यू डू नॉट नो लाइक यू डू नॉट हैव सीन एक्सरेज सो यू डू नॉट नो हाउ टू एनालाइज द एक्सरेज सो एक्सरे की इमेज आर वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर दिस मॉड्यूल क्योंकि उसमें से आपके ऑस्पीज भी आ सकते हैं उसमें पी बी एल सी बी एल्स कुछ भी आ सकता है सो फॉर पैथो देर आर लाइक टू ऑप्शन आई दर पैथोमा और बेसिस फ्राम बेसिस वी हैव चैप्टर नंबर फिफ्टीन एंड दैट इज लंग्स एंड फ्राम पैथोमा वी हैव रेस्पायरेटरी ट्रैक्ट होल चैप्टर एंड दैट्स हॉल बट what i used for this module along with pathoma was irfan maksud's book irfan maksud's pathology and uh, there were like her ek disease ke alag mein uski alag alag causes symptoms symptoms of diseases and causes are like much more important important for this module and once you are done with the patho then you are left with the two subjects and those are pharmacology and biochemistry and those are definitely minors but start and yeah one more subject and that is microbio so start with biochemistry in biochemistry I there's a one chapter of from Lipin called chapter number three to go through it and there are ABGs arterial blood gases for uh, for that I'll recommend a video of YouTube you can just go through the video or you can go through the five question and there's an other topic that is metabolic acidosis or alkalosis and respiratory alkalosis and acidosis so for that there's a video on dirty U S Emily I'll mention that in my text of the chapter that. there is a video on dirty usmly so just go through, uh, go through that one or two videos of one or two minutes so it will like clear up all your concepts but even if like you feel like you need to read a book uske liye there is a short book of biochemistry i do not have it right now but it's like five question choti si book hai and it's like there is usme ek topic hai acidosis alkalosis ke and abgs ke so do go through them and once you are done with the biochemistry start microbiology and for microbiology there's a one book named levinson jo ki aap logo ne blood module mein uh, use ki hogi so from levinson there's a chapter number 3 from part 2 like there are two sections part 1 and part 2 in levinson so part 2 mein sir chapter number 21 mein page number 178 pe there's a topic and that is like covered in the patho or but if you want to read microbio so you can just go through that topic of levinson or you can use your lecture outlines or lectures or i mean if you want to leave the micro you do not have time just leave that i i self left this topic during my module exam so like koi farak nahi pada tha zyada for pharma there is like huge important topic and that is ans for ans maine i tried lipin cord lekin lipin cord mein bhi itna bada tha and this module is very short so i'll definitely recommend kaplan jo ki mujhe bhi apne seniors ne recommend ki thi so just go through the kaplan or even if you feel like you cannot go through the kaplan of ns then there's a channel on youtube speed pharmacology so do go through the speed pharmacology there are like 8 to 9 short videos of 2 to 3 minutes and speed pharmacology is like life saver you can easily do the ans drugs from that uh youtube channel so yeah that sums up all the things that to be studied in the respiratory module so i'll again see power labs anatomy physiology these are like important subjects ye karke bhi chale jao to you will easily pass it but do uh, biochemistry and i'll 
drop the links of those channels in the description of this video so do go through the them if you have like time or if you do not have time for reading like long books or watching uh, videos of captain or whatever so yeah good luck for your respiratory module i will see you in another video with uh, cardiovascular module